Hi there. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Focus Montreal. On today's show, we'll meet the producer and the star of the Cote St. Luke Dramatic Society's ambitious musical, Catch Me If You Can. Yep. Next on Focus Montreal, Catch It If You Can, the Cote St. Luke Dramatic Society's latest production is a hit, and it's on now. We'll meet the star and the producer after the break. Wow, you're watching a little snippet from the Code St. Luke Dramatic Society's latest production, Catch Me If You Can. It's in its third year, and the staging of Catch Me If You Can is the Code St. Luke Dramatic Society's most ambitious project to date. The musical was originally staged on Broadway. It was made into the very popular Spielberg movie starring Tom Hanks and Leonardo DiCaprio. And in this Montreal production, 17-year-old singer and actor Brandon Schwartz takes on DiCaprio's role of con artist Frank Abed Nail and Brandon Schwartz joins me now, along with Coach St. Luke City Councilor and the show's producer, Mitchell Brownstein. Thank you both for coming in. Well, thank you for having us. The young Leonardo DiCaprio at the end of the desk. How was it taking on that role, Brandon? It's a lot of fun. This is really one of my favorite shows I've ever worked on. Um, it's a really fun part to play, somebody who's really never sincere. It's like, but he has to look sincere. You're right. And you get to be like a doctor and a... A doctor, a pilot, a lawyer. All the different roles that he pretends to be, exactly. although he's none of those things. <laughs> Not even close. It's an actor's dream, actually, I yeah. would think. Why did you decide Catch Me If You Can for the Dramatic Society this well, year? We, br we started the Coats and the Dramatic Society in order to provide joy and entertainment for audiences and actors. Mm -hmm. We started off with Grease the Musical, which was a great success. And last year we had Fiddler on the Roof, and our lead was Sam Stein. And he's a professional actor. He was terrific. So we were thinking, what could we do this year that would really be a draw? And Catch Me If You Can seemed like the right choice because it's a, a great feel Broadway production. It's never been performed in um, Canada. And I had a feeling that this, this kid, Brandon Schwartz, <laughs> might just make it for the lead. You always have to have a good lead. Yeah, exactly. And he is, he's just perfect. He has the stage presence. He has the voice. Uh, he's already been reviewed as the voice of Michael Bublé <laughs> yeah. by some reviewers. And, uh, he, he acts beautifully, and he really, really does a great job. And we also have a lot of other great, great entertainment um, actors that have come from across the island of Montreal because our director, Anissa Cameron, has a very professional team with mm. musical director David Terrio and our choreographer, Alexia Gord. They put on a professional show, which has brought us people from across the island of Montreal, French, Canadian, English, Canadian actors mm. uh, from all over who are participating in the show, which make it really great. We can mm. tell you a little bit about yeah. About our actors. Yeah, tell me more about them. But Brendan, I want to know a bit more about you. You started acting at six years old, singing yeah. and performing. Exactly. So by 17, you're like a, an old hat at it, I guess, right? <laughs> I mean, it's really what I love to do. It's I've spent so much of my time working at, at all the at singing, acting, dancing. I mean, it, it's what I love to do. I, it, yeah, and you're a student at Marinopolis right I am. Now? I'm studying vo jazz voice at Marinopolis now. Jazz voice? Yeah. I didn't even know that was a program. Yeah, so, well, it's part of the music program, and then okay. you pick your, your instrument, which would be, for me, my voice, and then, um, and then whether you want to study it in jazz or classical. How interesting is that? And so what do you hope to do? do you, is this your dream, to be an actor, to be a performer? Definitely to be a performer of some sort. I, like, performing in front of people is one of my favorite things to do, and singing in particular. So if, if music and, and performing is part of my future, perfect. Yeah. yeah. So, and, uh, and you just heard Mitchell say, I knew this young kid would be great in this part, and I've been reading some of the reviews. They really are exceptional, and a lot of them singing your praises. Tell me how that feels as a 17-year-old in a production I mean, like this. It's, I, it, I can't complain. So. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, it, it for sure helps. I, like it, everybody's all been pointing out the good my my strengths, but the, I mean there have been weaknesses pointed out, and it's good. And like this show has really been a challenge for me. Um, it's definitely one of the hardest roles I've ever had to play because it has such a huge range of emotion that comes across throughout. Mm -hmm. And so 
I mean, yes, there's the good parts, but the, I mean, it shows me what I do need to work on and, and what it will take for me to, to be able to use this in my future. That's a great it's attitude, very modest. right? Yeah, you see very that. Very modest. Yeah. He's out there watching everything. Yesterday, he comes to me at this show and he says, Mitch, you know, you're just missing the step on the box step by one. <laughs> just go with the right foot first. And I was like, thank you, Brandon. Yeah, so, because besides producing this and being a city councillor in Cote St. Luke, you're also got a, a part in it as well. Yes, I play the district attorney father-in-law that he wants to marry my daughter Brenda Strong yeah so he comes and I'm checking him out and I'm cross-examining him but of course he fools me like everybody else yeah because that's his job that's right? what he does so and the the Tom Hanks character from the movie there's a professional actor playing that as well his name escapes me Mike Molino okay yes and he is a great actor he's been acting for 20 years around Montreal he was even on Costa Cruise Lines as an actor and he's <laughs> been on uh, at the Siegel Center in Guys and Dolls he's at the Rialto Theatre he is really fantastic he does a great job as the detective Han Raddy, as does his parents, uh, uh, Frank Abingdale Sr., who's played by Matthew McEwen, and uh, Paula Abingdale, who's his mom, who's played by uh, Marie-Ève uh, Guérin. Yeah. They are really super, super, super. And are you learning from them as I well? I am. I mean, definitely from Mike. I've learned um, because me and him have so many interactions throughout the show and so many different, there's so many different things that we have to play off each other. It's, it's really been helpful for me to see how a professional actor takes on his part in comparison to, I mean, up till now I've, only, I've been doing community theater for the most part, mm. so I haven't been working with as many professionals as I, I mean I would like to in the future. Mm. And so it's good to get to be in contact with people who are doing this professionally and see how they take it on. Yeah, for sure. Well, listen, I think that we're going to be doing a We Knew You When in a few <laughs> years. So thank you so much for coming in to talk to thank us about it. Thank you for having me. And thank you, Mitchell. Well, thanks for having us. Always nice to see you. So I want to tell you how to get tickets to this thing because you want to try to catch it. It's Catch Me If You Can. It's playing through June 20th. 22nd at the Harold Greenspoon Auditorium in Cote St. Luke City Hall. Tickets, you can log on to the website. It is www.cslddramaticsociety.com or there is a phone number on your screen as well, 514-485-6800, extension 2024. Thank you again, gentlemen, you. and uh, break Thank a leg. You. Have Thanks. fun. That is Focus Montreal for this week. Join us again next week when we meet more Montrealers making a difference. Take care, everyone. Good night.